Um, the other student model that we have, which is sometimes combined with either the project placement or the multiple mentoring concept, is an interprofessional education approach. A lot of our placements are interprofessional. Um, they might be that students are working across professions, but they might also be that students are working with therapists, even if they're not working with other students from those professions. So we have um, exercise physiology students, OT students, speech students, we have a whole range of other students, but they will often do placements together where they're working with one another. And I think that's one of the benefits that they speak of most loudly when we, when we um, talk about their evaluations is that they've really benefited from understanding the way that somebody from that other profession works and what they bring you know, to the table. So if you're working with a child who might have speech and language needs and they might have some handwriting needs, seeing how those two professions can work together. And as much as we can, we try and model that within our team as well. Um, most of our allied health team is, works very interprofessionally. And um, I think that's really great for the students to be able to see how, you know, an, an exercise physiologist might be talking about something to do with, you know, an OT home visit or a, an OT might be talking a little bit about exercise. You know, there's, you know, and we always do that with respect around our professional boundaries, but it's really great for them to see how that's modelled across the team. It's great. It's really um, good getting to work with other professions. Uh, I, have nev I haven't had the opportunity to work with uh, exercise physiologists before but I find that's um, really good. You learn a lot about uh, the body, uh, working with them and their perspective and it really does match well with occupational therapy. In the community setting and, even, and especially in uh, the setting working with uh, in, uh, the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, it's really important for it to be uh, a collaborative experience.